What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. You know, if I actually release this video when I think I'm going to release it right now, then guess who's riding on a Crown Supercoach as this video is being released? Anyways, it is time for a question of the month. Let's just dive straight into it. Last month's question was about handicapped buses. What do you have? How have you done them? Stuff like that. Let's jump into that. All right, starting off with Jesus, he said, all right, so we have one shorty C2 in our fleet, and it's bus 135. The rest are all normal-sized buses, type C, all type C. I believe most of our handy fleet is older buses like 06 C2s and CEs, but most of them are FS65s. Surprisingly, we still have them in Broke County. Think of words that start with H and rhyme with Broke. Broke and C, what? And we have one handy vision. Also, do you think handy visions look weird when I looked it up? It might be NC spec, but they look weird. Tell me what you think. Have a great day, fellow IC charge person. Cameron, chill out. I'm kidding. Don't ear rape us, please. Seriously, have a great day, my dude. Congrats on 4K, fellow C2 person. Also, all our lifts are in the back. Hmm. Okay, I didn't do ear rape last month. Okay, I'm going to give you a pass this time. No ear rape, I think. And yes, handy visions do look weird. 100% agree there. Crafting Twin said, my district contracts to first student. Mm, do I want to give another pass on the ear rape or not? And they don't have any wheelchair buses. Meanwhile, our district-owned fleet is slowly diminishing, but we have four wheelchair buses. Two of them are late 2000s Type A Ford E-Vans with Bluebird bodies and wheelchair lifts in the back. Another wheelchair bus is a Type B First Gen Vision that I see is still running on daily routes, despite the fact that I don't know anyone in the district who rides a bus that uses a wheelchair. The fourth bus is a 97-ish TC2000 with a lift in the back. I almost got to ride it for a field trip, but I've never gotten to ride it. One of the Fords is sitting on death row with two other buses just waiting to be towed away, while the other I have only seen used with the jazz band and select strings group to haul instruments. On a different note, we still do have two normal Type B first-gen visions without lifts. Why we have them, I don't know, but I've never seen them moved out of their parking spots. CSX8817 Productions said, In my district, my handies are 2016 C2s, 09 Visions, FE300s, 03 TC2000s, and all Americans, like my favorite bus 930. I older handies such as the 2000 TC2000s and 01 International FEs, and all lifts are in the back. And the Bluebirds are short and long, and Thomas and I see are short. Adam said, we have Gillig 3800 Aries with lifts in the front, middle, and back, as well as a GM Scenic Cruiser style roof raise for the last two windows and 13 roof hatch emergency exits. Okay, I can't help myself here. But in all seriousness, we have C2s and 3800s with 60 passenger bodies and lifts in the back. Gavin said we have two 2012 CEs with lifts in the front, two 2014 C2s with front lifts, and a 2012 Vision with a rear lift. We just retired a 96 GMC Bluebird with a front lift. Jose said, so like I said, Prince William County Public Schools only has C2s. You always see shorty handy buses. I've only ever seen one full handy C2. So yeah, that's all my county has, a lot of short handy C2s. Hans said, all our handicapped buses are type B, probably three or four type Cs. They have handicapped door in the back, and my county only gets type Cs, so what are type Ds? Type Ds are the flat-nosed buses, so stuff like the HDX, the ICRE, the Bluebird All-American, TC2000, and then they come in two different variations, FE and RE, whether the engine is in the front or the rear. So that's what a type D is. Our spectrum of handies include, we started with handy FS65s, shorties, and I'm pretty sure they have the doors in the back because you didn't check or ride one. Only one school got type C CEs. Only one though, I hate it, it's disgusting, get out. And you guessed C2 person, what are we using for handies now? You guessed it, C2s. Finally, someone has some sense. We have probably two or so type C handies, but most of our handies are type B. Okay, thanks C2 person, you're a nice C2 person. Also, North Carolina specs are beautiful, and you can beat it if you think otherwise. Okay, well, you know what? Okay, fine. Let's do this. I'm going to win. Let's start.
Okay, so let's compare some North Carolina buses with other buses just real quick. We're going to start off with the C2. You know that I love C2s, but let's let's take a look at a North Carolina bus, and then we'll take a look at somewhere that's not North Carolina. Look at this. It, 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 there's nothing about it. It's just a C2. Like, it's just... It, there's... Like, look, it, it just... It, North Carolina public schools and then the county... They all look the exact same. Look, this one is a different county, and it's the, the exact same. This one is a different county, if it'll load. But it's the exact same. All right, so now let's take a look at some C2s that are not North Carolina specs. Here we go. We have a Florida one, and I don't like Florida specs. But look, it looks so much better. There's some black on here. Black window posts. It looks like tinted windows. We have these little things across the grill. I don't like the yellow wheels, but you know, that's okay. And we have a white roof. Look at this. Here is a beautiful example of a C2 right here. We have chrome for probably 95th anniversary edition, white roof, LEDs, chrome rims, black rub rails, black window posts. Everything about this just looks fantastic. It's a different day, hence why I'm wearing new clothes in the background. I might look a little bit different anyways. But seriously, what could that conversation have even been to spec those the way that they are? Hmm, what do you think we should spec our buses like? You know what I think might look good? What's that? Yellow. Yellow? Yellow. Yellow? Yellow. Yellow? Yellow. You know, maybe instead of that, we could add a little bit of nope yellow. Hmm, I like where this is going. Like, no. No, North Carolina specs just do not look good. Like, it, it, there, there's nothing there. Like, who in their right mind would think that that looks... Oh, yeah, he's the one who wrote this. J. Deer the Gamer said, Well, our district doesn't have any handies. Closest we got was when a kid on bus 14 broke their leg and they sent people out to help her. If we were to get a handy knowing our supervisor, it's probably a bluebird and it would probably be a handy vision. Andy said, all of our handies are type A's, mainly microbirds, but some minnow tours, I believe we have eight total. All of them have rear lifts. We still have some sped kids on regular routes and buses. However, people requiring handy lifts obviously ride the type A's. And here's a list of their fleet real quick. And uh, I guess this is one of their type A's. Trucker 57 Ed said, we have three shorty C2s with lifts and a whole fleet of vans, Chrysler and Dodge minivans. Oh, come on, I don't have time for two cameras rant in one video. Our three shorty C2s are four, a 2010 C2 with a very broken MBE. It sounds terrible and has a big dent above the door, occasionally a route bus. I don't know how our handies work. Number five is a 16 C2, you know the engine, wheelchair lift, great bus, and route bus. N9 is an 08 shorty C2, our only white roof, MBE, wheelchair life. I've heard numerous complaints from drivers. We're probably getting rid of it next school year. And of course, it's a sub. And if you feel like reading more, we still have our retired FSX5 full handy sitting in the lot. Bus 20 is a 99 or 2000 FSX5. I speculate it has a 3126 lift and an old rust bucket sitting our lot rotting away. Dylan said, we use Bluebirds on a Chevy chassis. I personally hate handy buses no matter the size, year, or where the lift is. They just make me cringe. Dr. S says we use handicapped C235 handicapped Ford and Chevy Microbird G5, 32, and 33. Uh, basically, it looks like he's listing out his fleet here, so I'll just leave this on screen for a second. Ross said my district has some C2s and CEs. We have a few white activity buses that are handy as well. JBA Squared said my district has a 2010 CE200 full length with a rear lift. A 2011 CE 200 with a rear lift, full length, and some stupid Star Wrap Chevy shorties, and a StarCraft Dodge. <laughs> AJ Deer said, I'm not sure if I can hold you back on that ear rape. Anyways, I will state again that I'm the lonely Canadian. Nah, it's okay, there's already been worse said in this video. So to the topic, here it's rare to get a full-sized bus as a handy. Most of our handies are either shorties, which are rare in many buses like G5s or Microbirds. The handy doors can be anywhere. Rockin' Randy said, right now my district has four handies. Bus 30, a 2000 Bluebird International. 
short handy with manual doors, main sub for 15, which is a 2016 CE, a shorty special needs route. Then bus 31, 2015 CE, long handy sub bus for long country routes with minimal kids. And 36, a 2018 C2, long handy normal route bus, non-handicapped kids. Bluebird A3FE ruler said we have two handy T3s, I think two handy visions, one is 2019 and the other is 2009. We also have a handy D3. Connor says East Brunswick always has handicapped buses. We used to have a bus number called W60, which was a 2014 CE 300, long handicapped, but it got replaced by bus 29, a 2017 C2. We have a couple sped buses, which are 06 BEs, numbered 73 through 79, until they got replaced with the Minnow Tours, and now there's a bus 80 in the fleet. Caleb said, my district, which uses Illinois Central, has three 2018 CE long handies, one C2 short handy, one Bluebird long handy, two CE shorties, one 07 Vision long handy, all of them have back lifts. We also have some Collins with wheelchair lifts. At one point, we even got an EF from another terminal that had a middle lift. Bus driver 11 said, we have two handy buses in Elkhart's fleet. Bus 33 and 95 International 3800 with a DT 466. And bus 17, a 2010 CE with a Max Force DT, both with manual doors. Bus 93 said, my district used to have 26 passenger 3800 Bluebirds with lifts in the front. They sold their only 26-passenger 05 CE200 handy because of the high mileage. They have seven, a 26-passenger CE, handy from 0712, most of which have been retired. Now they have eight 52-passenger CE from 14 to 19. And there's some pictures on screen corresponding. Eric says, bus 6, 2015, a T3. Bus 11 is an Amtrain International. Bus 18 is a 07 CE. Bus 11 and 16s are Amtran FEs, and they're his favorite buses. I used to ride 11 for six days, and 18 is the field trip bus, all are Ohio spec. Redneck Racer says, we never had any handicapped buses or short buses. We used to have CEs from 05 with manual doors. We just got a 2017 Vision. We also had StarCraft Dodges. Also, I have not forgotten. Dr. Dog 101 said Broward District Schools transportation handies are visions all the way in the back are the lifts, CEs uh, again all the way in the back, and a few REs, the only handy buses with the lifts in the middle. Logan said we have a handy C2 and a handy CE as a spare. Lucas said out of the two districts in my county, one district has a full-size Thomas 3800, but the other district has a combo of microbirds, minotaurs, and BEs. Rudy said, we mostly have a fleet with 35 CE300 buses that are 2017 and 92018 buses with Cummins. The inside of the new CEs has an AC unit in the front and back of the buses, plus a new Browin wheelchair lift. Coolboy725 said, we mainly use CEs. We got new ones last summer. ROR bus 3196 said, Magnolia has some old handies in the lot. They got 86s to 2019 CEs. All of the handy buses in the district have AC. Oldest one I've ever seen on Google Maps is an 86 S1700. Can't make out the number, I think it was 4067. Newest one I've seen was a 19 CE 4239. That guy, Cedric, said, well, my bus company has one CE shorty with a lift in the back, and then we have a few G5s and Minnow Tour handies with all the lifts in the back. Anthony said, my district is mostly ICs and Visions. The one I'll be working for has some C2s, but not many. ICCE83 said, my district is historically Bluebird, and the only handy buses in the fleet are Bluebirds except for the lone C2. I guess they don't trust IC handies, but at least we have a CE shorty. And here's the list. All our handies are usually 54 passenger and two wheelchairs. They have handy doors up front as well. 247 is the only type A in the fleet. Trans Marshmallow said, our main contractor has an 07 CE200. Backlift, full capacity, only used for general ed routes. Our SPED contractor uses 2010 and newer Bluebirds and Minnow Tours for SPED handy routes. Bus driver 434 said, we have in Massachusetts basically no handy buses, but a few companies have regular Thomas Minnow Tours. Nywan Smith, please forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. I can never remember. 
said Toledo Public Schools just got a handful of 2019 CEs. We have TCs, only the handicapped TCs have yellow warning light covers. And we also have some Vision C2s, ICFEs. Maybe more of those are all the types of handy buses TPS have, and all of them have lifts in the back. And there are the specs. Hey Zeus said you should respond to your own question in the comments and give yourself a shout out. That way you'll have more exposure. Oh my god, you're a genius. Grant said we have handicapped C2s. And finally, Arthur said in my district we use Collins and Thomas and IC a little bit, but that's really about it. Awesome, so thank you guys so much for responding. So, you know, let's get on with this month's question now. So this month's question has to do with lights on the bus. Mainly, are they incandescent or LED, and what do you personally prefer? So, unfortunately, pretty much all the districts around Tucson are incandescent lights, and I freaking hate it. Thankfully, one of the district is now converting to LEDs, and they're starting to look a whole lot better. As you can tell, I personally prefer all LEDs. Also, one other thing, I don't like when just the warning lights are incandescent and everything else is LED, or the other way around. That really annoys me, and if just, just LED everything, it looks so much better. Really, really better. Alright, now, I'd love to talk longer, normally I would, but I've kind of got to get this video edited ASAP. So, make sure you leave a comment answering the question I just asked you about lights on the bus. LED, incandescent, what do you prefer? What does your district have? Let me know. And of course, in next month's question of the month, I will give y'all free shoutouts, and I will throw my thoughts into a couple of the comments on there. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Diner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it, I don't care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or I'm just randomly going to stop recording sometimes, wait a couple days, and then just start recording again, like I did in this video. And make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't get raped. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it, and thanks for watching.